Hello. Uh, I know, it's been a little while since my last video. Uh, but yeah, I'm back. And I have a, man, do I have a, a, an episode for you. Uh, excuse my voice. I am currently in the middle of a allergy attack. I know, in a world full of COVID, I don't know how I, uh, how I manage that. But, uh, today's video is going to be different, right? So, uh, when I was a kid, uh, here, I'll do this. When I was a kid, uh, a game that was very special to me was the game Skylander Spiral's Adventure. And the whole Skylander series, in fact. Uh, and this video is basically going to be me breaking down Skylanders and kind of what it was. And, uh, you know, how it kind of affected me and just kind of show you, you know, the things I have of it. All right. So, back in 2011... Uh, Activision, you know, the Call of Duty people, they basically had an idea to use this new technology of, uh, I guess I would imagine, NFC chips. Not NFC. I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this video is also, like, not scripted at all, which is why I'm kind of going um every five seconds. So I'm not scripting this. This is kind of my unfiltered just thoughts about it. Uh, so, yeah. But in 2011, Skylanders came out. To n no remorse. Uh, and basically, is how I discovered it was watching the Nicktoons very late at night. Not very late, but just enough. You know, just kind of late, like at 9 p.m.-ish. And uh, I, see, I kept seeing this ad for this... Um, this new game coming out had all these weird creatures in it that were fighting other weird creatures. But the, but the best thing about it was there were toys. There were collectible toys that went with this. And I was like, oh, sign me up. I'm, I'm down for that. Like, I'd be down to play that. So, of course, we're walking through, me and my family, we're walking through a Toys R Us. And I see this big old, this is the little, this is the little box, the little corner that's wall to wall with this Skylanders game. And I'm like, oh, no, I want this. What, what, it, give me this. So we pick up a starter pack for the Wii, because the Wii... The Wii is the best console ever. If you say otherwise, you're wrong. Uh, but I got the starter pack that came with three Skylanders. Uh, these three. Now, again, this isn't exactly all of them, but uh, this is the first one. Now, uh, this is Spyro. You might know Spyro from his own game series and his own uh, games on the PS1 and things like that. But this was kind of his rebirth. This is not the normal Spyro. Uh, my impatient butt didn't want to try and find the normal Spyro in the chaos of... Uh, and that's chaos with a K. If you got played Skylanders, you would get that. Uh, but uh, it's... Yeah. So this is technically a variant of Spyro, which is a dark Spyro. I know, we're going into that territory, folks. Going into that territory. Uh, and then we have Gilgrunt, which, I, to me, Gilgrunt, to me, feels like more of the mascot of Skylanders than Gilgrunt or Trigger Happy feels like more of a mascot than Spyro does. Because Spyro was his own mascot beforehand. and you know. But Gilgrunt's interesting. Uh, and then we had Trigger Happy. This dude, I remember as a kid, uh, some of my friends' parents didn't like Trigger Happy. They didn't let people. They didn't let them use them because they had guns. And I was like, "Are you kidding me? It's a gun that shoots gold coins for crying out loud!" All right, anyways. But uh, yeah, these three. Uh, I feel like this also kind of these things also kind of started my addiction to collecting things. Um, I now have. Oh, okay. At the end of this, I'll show you this gigantic wall of stuff I have over here, but, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, these three were the biggies, uh, now, of course, there were others, and I'll go get those real quick, give me one second, uh, and we're back, okay, so, uh, so after these three, right, these are the characters that came in the beginning of the pack. Uh, however, here are just some, these from the first game, here are some notable characters. 
Eruptor, he became a big part of the game. Uh, well, I consider like big characters that get really popular. Uh, after the success of Skylanders, you know, after it all dialed, dialed down, uh, Netflix uh, got, you know, with Activision made a Skylander show called Skylanders Academy. Uh, I watched all of season one. I have not seen season two and three of that. But, uh, yeah, th- this was one of the big characters in it, along with, along with Spyro. Hold on, let me get these three back in there. Uh, yeah, also, as you can tell, I have to be very specific on how these things look, because I, I don't know, I'm like that. Terrafin was another one that stuck out. This man basically burrows underground and comes up, like, he's an earth, literally an earth shark. I, I, uh, yeah, oh man, I'm forgetting to say a bunch. Uh, but, yeah, also, if you couldn't tell by the idea, right, by the, you know, their bases here, Terrafin, see how there's rocks and crystals, that's because it is labeled as a earth element, uh, in the beginning, I say in the beginning, and we'll get to the other part later, but in the beginning there were eight elements, right? Uh, earth, oops, earth, water, fire, magic, tech, I don't know why tech's an element, uh, and then, uh, let me think, that's one, two, three, four, five, there's air, Undead, and life. Undead's basically just like the creep, creepy stuff, like skeletons, zombies, that type of stuff. And then life is the plants, nature, if you will. Um, all right, here's another Earth one. I like this guy. This was the character I saw in the trailers that constantly made me go, oh, yeah, I actually like this game. I like this dude. Oh, uh, this is nice. Hey, excuse me for a second. This, uh, this guy, this is Prison Break. And this is the character that I constantly saw that made me be like, oh yeah, I like this game. This game's pretty cool, actually. Uh, now, th- this dude too, right? Uh, this is Flameslinger. This guy also kind of was like, oh yeah, I like that. Because I, I don't know why, I've always liked archery as an idea. And you're like, oh, flaming arrow guy. That's sick. Uh, yeah, so I liked I liked him. Now this one. This is, this is my favorite out of all the original game. Out of all these, the 2011 to 2012 characters for the first game, this is my favorite. This is Stealth Elf. This one, along with Spyro and Eruptor, kind of like blew up. Uh, and by the way, this character, in my opinion, and it's still in my opinion, at least from the first game, stupidly overpowered. Like, I'll put footage up, but literally, in her game, like in, in, in the game she's in, her attacks, the whole idea is that she's like moves super fast. And she can go at A. Or her normal attacks go like really quickly, and B, and literally, uh, she can turn invisible. Like that's a thing she does, and like enemies can't see her. So I thought it was like that's way crazy, like overpowered. All right, but yeah, that's pretty much the first game. Uh, and you know, I feel like it had the most. The first game had the most interesting of a story, kind of introduced the idea, the concept. I feel like the first game had an interesting concept to it. Uh, but then, of course, you know, after the success of the first game, this is Activision. This is Activision we're talking about, okay? Uh, I think Activision also does Assassin's Creed. So if you know anything about Assassin's Creed, it feels, felt for a little bit there, like, every year you got a new Assassin's Creed game. And that still pretty much happens. Uh, Skylanders was just like that. You know how Call of Duty, like, every year releases a new game? Yeah, Skylanders was like that too. So after Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure, was Skylanders Giants. Now, uh, I should be able to find this one way quicker. Uh, but give me one second. Alrighty. Now, after the after this game, after the first one was Skylanders Giants. Why is it called Skylanders Giants? Because these were the big boys. These were the, the crazy boys. Uh, these were just labeled as the Giants. Basically, you compare them to something like, uh, let's see, let's go Terrafin here. It's noticeably bigger. And that was kind of the whole point, was that these guys were bigger. These guys were crazier. And I don't have a portal at the moment, but uh, this right here lit up, and the eyes lit up, and you know that was, they were like, oh, these are the... These are the big boys. These are the crazy boys. These are the ones that you you 
you want to get. But other than just introducing that, they introduce new characters. Um, and I'll get some of those. And then uh, there's only one giant for each of the eight elements. So this was the life one, obviously. Uh, and I'll go get... Uh, there's, there were two other things that were added with this. So just give me a second. Mm. So, of course, you had the giants, right? Here's another giant for its respective purposes. This one's bouncer. This one was the one for the tech element. This one was my favorite because of just how his whole idea was he was swag. And I'm like 99% sure that if he wasn't a robot, he would he would have been black. <laughs> like, if you look at his character, I'm like, come on. he's If this guy wasn't a robot, he'd be black. Not... This gets really bad out of context. All systems go. Wheel with this. Maximum overdrive. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Let's bounce. Alley oop. Deal with the wheel. <laughs> but basically, this game also introduced uh, the idea of series two, or as the fans put it, reposes. So you know this character, right? You know Spyro, right? But imagine this. Spyro again. Was there anything different about this Spyro? No. Was there... Okay, I take that back. There was something different. For example, right? The gems right here on his wings and the red things on his wings. But that was the only different part. They had like a bit of a costume change. A tiny costume change. And that was it. Anything else with that? Nope. Literally nothing else. Nothing else changed from that. Same powers. Pretty much, except for one new power, and that was it. That is the stupidest... Okay, now that I'm older, I will not... There was no point to getting these, because these basically just had the same power, so... And they did this for all the games, going up to... It's, this was a Series 2, right? Or what they labeled as a Series 2. And then, and then there's two more, right? So obviously they introduced new characters, like this guy. This guy came in the starter pack for the game. Now, me being the uh, correct individual that I am, uh, they had a, a version of the game that was like, okay, here's the game and the packs for all the new people that didn't play the first game. And then you had the, the, um, <clears throat> then you had the one that was like, oh, the, oh you, you, so you, have, you did play the last game. Okay, well, here's your pack for you. And it just came... With uh, Tree Boy here, and nothing else. So I never got this guy originally, but uh, a good friend of mine actually gave. Him, I remember the day he gave that to me. I was like, oh my goodness, I remember. But this is Jetvac. He was one of the new characters, and my favorite new, my favorite character in the se second game, anyways. And then they had series two, or not series two. I'm sorry, I fall on this for that. Uh, Light Core. What is Light Core? Basically, you put this thing on the portal, some part of it lit up. Uh, for Pop is here, which was another new character in Giants, was his potion bottle that would light up. Uh, if I get footage of that, I'll tell you, but, um, you know, we'll see. So then after Giants, you, okay, so Spire's Adventure was 2011. Giants was 2012, and in 2013, they had Swap Force. Now, this one, for some reason, this one seems to be the one that a lot of people seem to remember. Besides Giants. Giants was a big one. Giants and Swap Force seem to be the two that every kid, and I mean every kid, seems to remember of the two. Because Giants and Swap Force were everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean like everywhere. Like SpongeBob level. You know how SpongeBob like, has an, a thing of everything? Like there's a SpongeBob lunchbox and there's a SpongeBob... Backpack, <clears throat> or like the the Marvel and DC superheroes. Skyliners was like that for a little bit. That there was a, there was a Skyliner notebooks, pens, backpacks, lunch boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Literally everything. <clears throat> and uh, that transitioned over to uh, Swap Force. So again, I I'll, I'll apologize real quick. All right, <clears throat> so <clears throat> after Giants was Swap Force. What was Swap Force, you might ask? Well, <clears throat> Swap Force was uh, these new guys. Now, what was so interesting about this one? 
Well, basically, uh, this is what was interesting. You can break them apart and then do this bullcrap. Look at that. So, and, uh, so the thing is about that was, you know, you know, they could swap. And so you could have the abilities of the top half of each character, but the different abilities of the bottom part of each character. So this, is, this was Wash Buckler, right? But it's weird because they treated this as, this is, this is Wash, and this is Buckler. Excuse me. Uh, so that was the weird thing about it. Uh, and this is, this was Blast and Zone. Blast Zone and Wash Buckler. So when you swapped them, Blast Buckler, Wash Zone. That is a terrible name, by the way. Who names? That's black. But these were the two characters that came in the starter pack, along with a repose of stealth stuff, but I don't... doesn't really matter. But uh, here's some notable characters from Swap Force. I'm trying to think, was there anything crazy? Um, they did introduce all, also new characters, which I'll get one of those here in a second. But uh, here's some more Swap Force characters that, to me, were just interesting. Got to gotta give the boy space. Back up. Uh, <clears throat> this was Rattle, Rattle Snake? Sh no, Rattle Shake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, obviously, he's one of the undead element. D don't really make sense. Seems like more of a. I don't know. This was Night Shift. Literally, this was a boxer vampire, and I love him. Uh, yeah. And this one was. Oops, excuse me. Uh, this one was Freeze Blade. And I swear to you, I've never shaken this as long as I've had this character. This guy's voice. I, I, it sounded so familiar to me. Uh, I'll play a clip of it real quick. Catching air! Up high! Yeah! Snow capped! I have goosebumps. Seriously. A very cool name. Sounds like a winner. Keeping it cool. A cut above the rest. Getting better with practice. In the zone. Frosty. Another score. I never understood what this... Why? Like, I never understood this. Like, his voice to me sounds so familiar. And I was watching... An episode of uh, this is kind of a tangent, but I was watching an episode of Power Rangers, and one of the villains in the Power Rangers sounded awfully, awfully similar to that of this dude. Uh, but then I do some research and I find out this guy was voiced by Billy West, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think that's the guy that did um, notable ones. It was he was Stimpy and written Stimpy? So I was like, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, but the whole idea was that you know. Obviously, you could do this. Uh, yeah. So then you had rattle, shift, and night, shake. So I thought that was... I did think that was cool as a kid. And then let me go grab... Let me go grab a... A new character real quick. And then, uh, this is... This, in my opinion, this is the only notable new character. Because I... At least to me. Because I love this little dude so much. But this is countdown. Uh, is is literally his best attack. This man's head. He this man throw. This man throws his head, and it explodes. That's amazing. So for me, you know, I like that character for that reason. Uh, but yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna have to push these over a bit. Excuse me while I. Do that real quick. All right, and then after all that, in 2014, they released Trap Team. Trap Team, in my opinion, is my favorite game because to me, it had the most hype for me surrounding it. There were so so many leaks, which I'll get to. Yeah, there were leaks. With you think people that are addicted to Smash Bros. And to Marvel get leaks all the time. Nah, 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 fam. Man, Skylanders got the leaks. I remember that. Uh, but I remember this game, to me anyways, had so much hype behind it. Had so much, like, excitement behind it. Um, so let me get tra the Trap Team characters real quick. Okay. So, 
Trap Team, right? Trap Team had these guys called the Trap Masters, which were these guys. Uh, the cool thing about the Trap Masters was that they had these crystal weapons. Crystal weapons. I never, I never, trust me, I never got it either. It's crystal weapons, how do you, anyways. Uh, but the idea was that these, this, maybe it's like diamond. Because these, the metal, the crystal that was used to make these weapons was called Traptanium. Uh, there is a lot of story behind that. By the way. Basically, the main villain, Chaos, uh, blew up a prison that had all these villains in it. And the pieces became, the pieces of those became these things called traps. But, th- but I'll show you a trap real quick. These things. Uh, but basically, the, the, this is supposed to be that this material is also uh, uh, this material. But the interesting thing about this was the whole gimmick. All right, so you had the first you had the first game which was toy on portal. Then you have the second game that was bigger toy on portal. And then you can have then they had the, the break character in half and put on portal. This one was you take this thing. And you take something out of the game and put it into this. Uh, excuse me for a second. Uh, this was an interesting idea. And to me, I, I love the idea. I still love it to this day. But basically, if you had an element... Oh, uh, you have a, an element. If you had a villain of the same element. So, let's say I had a water villain. You could put this on the portal. And then you could uh, suck it into the game. And to me, that was... Whew, that was a good... I, I love that. Um, but, and for literally, from Trap Team and then Skylanders 5 and 6, which we'll cover in a second, they threw out the idea of playing as the main villain, Chaos. As in basically giving you the ability. First it was like, you can play as him, oh, for a certain time frame, you can play as him. And then it was like, oh, only a certain mode, you can play as him. And then at the last game, they're like, nah, just give him as a character. And so this was the trap for Chaos. Literally, the, uh, and also, this was like an exclusive, right? This was an exclusive for like a certain version of the game that came with this Chaos trap. So, and the other version of this is just black. It's just like a, just black entirely. I'm like, you tell me you want just the normal black and you can have this one that's bigger and silver, I'm like, G- give me that one, please. But yeah, you could use this to trap chaos, and and I thought that was really cool. And then, uh, of course, just like all the other games, they added brand new characters. Uh, this one being one of them, Food Fight, who is an interesting character. I never really fully liked Food Fight, but I liked his powers and the stuff they did with him. So, so yeah, that was nice. All right, this is where I like to call. The downfall. Now, what is the downfall, you may ask? Uh, the downfall is where this game series went down the drain. They stopped. I don't know what, what it was with this fifth game that made it, that kind of put it downhill. But it didn't do too well after this. And I couldn't tell you why. Well, actually, I can. I'll explain to you why. But the stuff, let me get to stuff for the fifth game. All right, so... The fifth game in this series was known as Skylanders Superchargers. What's a supercharger? This is a supercharger. It's a version of a Skylander. Oh, this is Spitfire, by the way. This is, in my opinion, this is my favorite character in this whole game. It is not in the whole series, but just in the superchargers, that is. Uh, see how the base is different from the last, the last bases? It kind of looks like an engine. Give me a second. This. This was the gimmick. Cars. The fact was that these cars actually drove around. That was the idea. Was that it was more than just a figurine. I like the figurines, thank you very much. But basically, each car had a certain Skylander that went with it. You put them together... And uh, this would become super, give me a second, supercharged. And just go like super stinking fast. I didn't like this game. Because I thought, I thought the car element, it just, it wasn't as fun. 
it wasn't as hyped and it wasn't as fun. And that, I think it's also partly to blame from the YouTubers I watched, which after we get through all the games, I'll tell you about that. Uh, but the best, the best thing about this game, right? The best thing about this game was that it we had the first out of two big crossovers. Uh, the first one being, uh, I'm going to say, I don't know if it's Nintendo. I, I'll just say it's Mario because they're, these, they're both Mario characters. Basically, Skylanders and Super Mario had a crossover, giving you Donkey Kong as a Skylander, and this was his car, and you put the two together, this thing had Diddy Kong in it, and it was the best thing ever. So this was the best part. You got this with the Wii U version, and uh, the weird thing about this, right, the weird thing about this was that uh, this thing was not just a Skylander, right? So I should mention that when Skylanders got popular, a couple other companies saw this and like, I mean, we could do that. Uh, the three of which being Disney, Nintendo, and Lego that stuck their little noses in there. And Nintendo's version of Skylanders was called Amiibos. Which, by the way, at the time of recording this video, is the only remaining Toys to Life thing left. Like, they're still making Amiibos. And I'd, for that, I have to applaud them. But I'll see if I can get this. So you see how it says Skylander down there, right? I'll, if I turn this, Amiibo. Uh, yeah, so this was partly a Skylander and partly an Amiibo if you just switched it to the bottom like that. So that was interesting. And then for th if you got the Wii or the 3DS version, which by the way, the Wii and 3DS versions were two completely different games. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but uh, you got Bowser. Bowser and his clown, like the clown copter or something like that. I think it was what it's called. Uh, I like this. So this, this was kind of fun to hold and play with a bit. But uh, Hammer Slam Bowser. Oh, this was like turbocharged Donkey Kong or something like that. And this was Hammer Slam Bowser. And once again, just like Donkey Kong, uh, Skylander, Skylander and Amiibo. Literally, these these two characters were the only good thing about this game, in my opinion. And then, um, man, now we get to kind of the the last game in the series. Uh, and this one, in my opinion, had the most creative idea behind it. But because, in my opinion, because of this, or sorry, this flopped so hard. No one really wanted to get the try it a sixth time. And so it didn't do as well as, you know, Giants and Swap Force did. Uh, and let me get that real quick. Okay. So the last game in the series was called Imaginators. Uh, what was the gimmick with this one? You created your own Skylander. That was the gimmick. Uh, these things were known as the Creation Crystals, I believe. Uh, and when you put this on the portal, there was like a little heartbeat glow, which, again, you know. Um, I thought they kind of all kind of fit a mold, which was a bit of a, eh, for me. Because they all had to fit one specific type of role. And they all had almost one type of body shape, in my opinion. Like, like, you know, they could have been a bit more customizable. But I still like this, whether or not. And... Uh, just like how the Giants had the Giants, the Swap Force had the, had the Swap Force, the Trap Team had the Trap Masters, uh, and Superchargers had the Superchargers. Imaginators. Oh, by the way, and no, they're not called the Imaginators. These are the Imaginators, the Create Your Own Skylanders. The, this version of the Superchargers or the Trap Masters was the Senseis. So long story short, the idea was that these guys would train these guys. And, uh, you, uh, it's not that, you know, again, I like the idea, not necessarily my idea, you know, it's not necessarily like my, you know, there's just something about it that wasn't as fulfilling. I did like it, but just, you know, I didn't hate it as much as I did Superchargers. But another thing about this was they started bringing back villains and this was one of the villains you could trap in Trap Team. But they made her 
as a full-on Skylander, like they're full-on redemption arcs. That I don't get, and I still don't really get. The only, oh, but this one. You you remember how I said that, you know, in Trap Team, Superchargers, and Imaginators, they kind of made Chaos playable? Let me go get those other two examples real quick. So, so obviously in uh, Trap Team, we had this boy, right? In Superchargers, they had a whole racing segment. I barely touched it, which is why I don't have as much experience with that one. But, they also had this little boy, which you could, if you put this on for the, oh, geez, for the racing segment, you could become Chaos for a little bit. And then... They're just like, they were just like, ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's make an actual Skylander. <laughs> and so they did. This is the villain. This is the villain of the whole series. And you make him a Skylander. And they never explain why they did this. Like, obviously it's for money. But also, I'm also like, most of the time, they had a way of explaining the point to that. Right, they they explained why there's traps now. Uh, they ex they kind of explained these things, right? Like for the traps, right? They explained, oh yeah, this was a the remains of a prison. They blah blah blah. They didn't really explain this, but this was part of a mode that I didn't even really care about, so I didn't really question it. Why is he a Skylander? They never, if they do, I don't remember, but they never bring this up. Why he's an actual figure. They never explain that. But, yeah. But, you know, this game franchise, the reason I'm talking about this, right? Hold on. Let me let me kind of get set up here a second. Let me get all the heavy hitters from each game. Hey, Future Kidron here. Uh, forgot to mention that in Imaginators, uh, the second crossover was with uh, Crash Bandicoot in uh, Dr. Neo Cortex. Uh, so, yeah. The reason that uh, this game franchise me is so important to me is because literally I think without this game franchise and without me being introduced to games this way I don't know if I'd be as much of a video game fan as I am today now for some people they're like oh that life would have been so much better if you weren't uh, understandable <clears throat> however this game and not only did this game uh introduce me to gaming specifically Nintendo because you know, and obviously I know I I knew who Donkey Kong and Bowser were, but I never like understood them. So I did more research. I'm like, oh, I actually, I like these. I like these guys. This Mario, this Mario fellow. Hmm. Oh, th th this Link person, this Kirby guy, this Fox McCloud. They they intrigue me. This Samus Aran, they 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 intrigue me. You know. So this game probably, if it wasn't for this game, I probably wouldn't be into video games slash Nintendo. Slash even YouTube as I am. Uh, because this game, this game also, I feel like more so than video games, got me into YouTube and got me into watching videos because they're mostly known now, now as FGTV. But when I was a kid, to me, that family, that, uh, that dad, that son, daughter, and two other sons, they were the Skylander boy and girl. The Skylander, blah, blah, blah. The Skylander family. So to me, they were more than, you know, obviously now I'm older. Now that I'm older, uh, they don't excite me as much. And I think a lot of the stuff they do now is like dumb. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. So again, yeah, just wanted to share with you guys a bit of my childhood. I know I tried to in the past. Uh, that that Toy Story video was not good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share you a little bit of it. But now, now here's... Okay, I'm going to treat you all to a little bit of a clip here. To prove you how much of a fan I was of the Skyline Upright Girl. Obviously, if you knew I didn't know anything about them, they used to make your songs, like rap songs. Uh, so this will be interesting to see. Oh, I'm curious here. 
to prove to you that I could still sing this. This song, when did this come out? 2013. I can still sing this fully. Well, I don't know about fully, but. Watch this program. So yeah, I went to E3 2013. I saw a swap force appear on a huge screen. Before I got punched in the face by Holy Fear, when I challenged into a battle mode, he took it real. I saw some new guys in my mind blow. Like the motorcycle and Rhino, Rhino, and Hoot Loop, oh shoot, Free Ranger, and Mega Ram Spyro, he looked kinda strange. But nevertheless, I'm still by that little dragon. Oh dang, I can't wait to snag a fire Kraken. You should have seen my eyes when I saw a spy rise. I wish the bomb to play to play with Star Strike. I couldn't breathe when I did. My face looked like Popthorn, and I think I screamed like I did. And I almost died when I picked the Grim Reaper. I love a bark from excitement in the series 3. For the twin business, self elf, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I just shook one and swap round, right, shake and stuff. Gorilla Driller is really great, looks super tough. Bubbles of trouble stumbled upon a riptide. I wish the kids could have really been by my side, but that's not it. I got an E3 hot dog, had to spin it to win. On the first try, y'all Asian guy gamer, I never meant to make him cry. I even vlogged with Coin Out TV, that was fun. They recognize the queen, but I still have fun. Does it tell you drums and one of wisdom? Evan 2, HD, yeah, dads, we having fun. Make sure you watch the video. Don't be a bum. I got to play Swap Force. Hands on, but I cried when I didn't get to see it. I was mom, but I didn't see new toys and sets. Adventure packs. Yes, you can bet Callie, she's coming back. So many videos I had to upload. Tell her dad doesn't beg, you already know. I got superpowers. I'm out of control. I made light corn chase appear at the expo. So when I tell you when I was addicted to this, I was addicted to this. So yeah, that should show you how addicted I was to this game and to that channel and everything like that. So yeah, just wanted to share with you guys, you know, again, a little piece of my life. So thank you all for watching. If for some reason you like this, uh, click subscribe. I don't have any type of consistent content. This is just like a variety show pretty much. So if you're not into that, I totally get it. But uh, please subscribe. We're nearly at 90 subscribers. Not a big deal to the most of the world, but to me it is. Uh, so, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching.